All right, so look, I usually don't talk about relationships, man, but I, I feel like I got to speak on this one. Now, look, I really do fuck with DDG. I want that to be known. No, I don't know him. So I'm going to try to tread lightly on what's going on because I don't want to seem biased to one way or the other. But look, if you haven't been familiar with the situation, man, DDG has been in the spotlight over the last week or so and recently got exposed today by Ruby Rose. Now, look. It's hard to say and hard to take a lot of this seriously because if you know DDG, you know he takes any opportunity, you know, as good publicity. He don't believe in bad publicity if, you know, he going to find a way to flip everything. So with that being said, I'm going to speak on the Ruby Rose thing and then I'll go over the overall situation. But if you don't know, Ruby Rose exposed DDG um, for being in her DMs on Tuesday. Now, this comes off of the heels of DDG going to Twitter to say that all girls are the same now of course we all know that he was dating or is dating Haley bailey at the time so a lot of her fans came to her defense like hell nah bro don't do that don't take this shit to the internet and if she did cheat on you we gonna stand behind beside her now of course that's kind of fucked up to say but it shows you too how quickly like a fan base can turn on you as well man because there was a lot of people in those dms not dms but those comments talking about they're glad that she left that thug. They're glad that she left. She could do so much better. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, God damn. Like, y'all just love them together. Now, y'all, you know, gonna flip on them like that. But regardless of the fact, I will say this, though. I do agree with a lot of the, what the fans said, man. In terms of, like, every relationship DDG has been in, I do agree that I feel like Haley Bailey balances, balances him out the best. Um, Because she just seems like a sweetheart. And, of course, we don't know her. She She could be a bad person. Who knows? I don't know. But from what we, from what I can see, she seems to be a really great person, a, a, a sweetheart, um, seems to be very empathetic, very appreciative. Um, you know, just looking at when, when she get or when he gives her gifts, she always just seems to be really happy. You know what I'm saying? I've seen videos too, where she would walk up to him after a concert or whatever the case may be. And she, you know, bounce and hop and just be really giddy over him. And you know, that's something as me as a male, I, I like, damn, man, you know, I'm jealous of that. Like, I want something like that. Like, basically what I'm saying is their relationship gives me hope that us guys can find a woman out there like that too. So I agree with them, man. When you have somebody like that, you don't not only take it to the internet, but also, the type of chick that she is, being Beyonce's protege and having this good girl image and having so many brand deals and things like that, don't tarnish her brand by making her or painting her out to be a certain way on the internet. So I definitely do agree with that. That was a bad move on his part. Second thing I'm going to go ahead and crucify him is, again, don't tarnish her image and make her look bad and make, make her look stupid in public. By then texting your ex Ruby Rose, bro. If you don't, as a as dude to do, if there's one thing you know, women, a lot of the times, women never feel like you can do better than them. You know what I'm saying? So there's going to always be a little bit of a jealousy when they see that you moved on and then you're just as happy, if not happier, with the new woman. You know what I'm saying? So don't put yourself in a situation where your ex is going to become bitter and try to do anything possible to, to break y'all relationship up. Like, if you don't think for a second, bro, that once you DM'd her, that she didn't rub her hands together like, yes, finally I could fuck their relationship, you know, their relationship up, you stupid. You stupid. Like, come on, bro. You don't do nothing like that. That's the only thing I, I really want to just drive home in terms of what DDG did, bro. It's like, come on, bro. You know better than that. You know better than that. You know Ruby Rose is looking at you like, bro. I can't stand this nigga like you know and then you upgrade and do better and then you backtrack and then give her the ammo so that she can fuck your relationship up i just i just felt like that's dumb um that's just that's just g code like 101 bro you just never do nothing like that so that that's that's the only thing i can really say that ddg really just was like being a dick you know like a dickhead over a slick head over i don't even know if i can say that word <laughs> so um but i want to know y'all opinion man i still have hope for them i still want them to be together um i don't want i don't want this video to come across as like i'm just basically just saying things uh because i want to be in his shoes for Haley. like no bro like i'm genuinely happy for you i really want you to be you know happy and i don't i we we all seen you grow up we all seen you be in different relationships she is by far one of the best things that's happened to you bro stop being stupid 